very important function is that class 2 molecule now I will not call them MHC class 2 in lecture I will simply refer them as class 2 molecules these class 2 molecules also are used by macrophages and other antigen presenting cells to label the antigen as foreign antigen is that right am I clear from where these molecule came MHC class 2 molecules of course no fun in telling that their genes are present on chromosome number sex anyway so macrophage make lot of MHC class 2 molecules and with every antigen they have eventually sooner or later some class 2 molecule fix then antigen along with the class 2 molecule is expressed on the surface of the macrophages then macrophage in person go to the lymphoid headquarter they want to present to the immune, immune cells which are lymphocytes hey I have this antigen and you see I have processed it now you do something about it is that right now look when this will come into lymph node let's suppose macrophage is here now there are many lymphocytes or only one lymphocyte there there are many many lymphocytes what it will do let's suppose these are the different lymphocytes now look I'm showing here in the diagram five lymphocytes macrophage you will be so surprised to know how beautifully your body works every lymphocyte is pre-programmed to react and recognize only a unique type of antigen listen carefully every lymphocyte is already pre-programmed in your body to recognize and react against a unique antigen there are millions and millions of the antigens in the nature of course in your body there should be millions and millions different type of lymphocytes we should be able to recognize different type of antigens let's suppose how do they recognize the antigen their molecular eyes molecular things how let's suppose this is a special molecule on chromo in lymphocyte number one this is another molecule which is on the lymphocyte number two this is another molecule which is on the lymphocyte number three there is still another molecule which is on the lymphocyte number four and there is another molecule which is on the lymphocyte number five do you think these surface molecules are identical or different they are different actually they are programmed to react with different antigens is that right for example this is pre-programmed to react with star antigen this is pre-programmed to react with this antigen this is pre-programmed to react with this antigen this is pre-programmed to react with spherical antigen and this is pre-programmed to react with different antigen now look at the beauty that right now in your body the hundreds and millions of the types of cells or I should say there are lymphocytes and these lymphocytes are having these are called antigen receptors because they receive the antigen what should be they called antigen receptors and I will soon tell you if these lymphocytes are trained into thymus then these are called T cells. T cells and then these molecules look these molecules they should be called T C R T cells receptors now in further discussion if I say T C R you should immediately understand that I'm talking about I'm talking about antigen receptors present on T cells right now on a given T cell on one T cell all the antigen receptors should be different or same same one T cell may have thousands of the receptors but all of them are absolutely identical but different T cells will have receptors which are different and due to the as different T cells have different TCRs that is why different T cells are pre-programmed to recognize same antigens or different antigens different T cells are pre-programmed to recognize different. different antigens is that right it is just like that that there are 10,000 married women truly married women they are somehow due to virtue of their marriage they are pre-programmed to recognize a different man as their husband or do they get confused <laughs> it's just like that lymphocyte T lymphocytes are trained in the thymus actually and in the thymus their genetic material is programmed in such a way 
that every T cell expresses unique type of TCR and it get programmed to recognize a unique type of antigen. That antigen may come repeatedly into your body or that antigen may never come. You know, luck matters in so many things, including the T cells. Right? Now, what this will do? This cell will do macrophage. What the macrophage is going to do? It is having the antigen and process with what? Class 2 molecule. I'm the macrophage. Go back. This is the antigen and this is the class 2 molecule. Now, I will go to lymphocytes. I will present this antigen to every lymphocyte until I find a lymphocyte which recognizes this antigen. Are you clear? Right? Let's suppose these are lymphocytes sitting there in the lymph node. I'm the macrophage. I come over there. I'm very proud I have processed the antigen and you should be happy I personally come. Not like neutrophil throwing the antigen to the lymph node. Personally coming. What I'm doing now? I'm going to lymphocyte to lymphocyte. Bring your one hand forward. This hand is supposed to recognize this antigen. antigen. Right? Yes, catch this antigen. And with the other hand, lymphocyte has some sort of, you know, very, very fussy. It has to check the antigen came with proper processing with class 2 or it came without that. So with other hand, he will check the, pro the processing is there or not. Are you understanding? So this molecule which recognizes the antigen, right? And this molecule recognizes the pro presence of class 2 molecule. Is that right? Let us suppose his, this molecule which recognizes the antigen, this is his TCR, T cell receptor for the antigen. Let's suppose he is unable to grip it. Right. Okay. I will come here. Let's suppose, actually macrophage has to go, you know, this is the problem. Lymphocytes are not supposed to come. <laughs> Sit there. <laughs> this is the problem of the camera. Listen, okay, we'll go to some other lymphocyte, right? We go to this lymphocyte. Look, she has, this is her TCR, T cell receptor to recognize the antigen. And this is her, another molecule, which is supposed to check that is the antigen properly processed with class 2 or not because T cells do not attend the antigens without class 2 molecules or without class 1 molecules. T cell recognize only peptide antigens and only those peptide antigens which are processed with MHC molecules. That is why in the books you will read T cells have MHC restriction. They are MHC molecules, restricted cells. What does it really mean? It means that they only recognize the antigens when they are properly processed with MHC molecules. Am I clear? Now, yes. Let's suppose her TCR does not adjust well, so no need of checking this. Now I go to the next lymphocyte. I've gone to many lymphocytes. Up to now, no lymphocyte TCR was able to interact with it. So I just present the antigen here, then present antigen to another lymphocyte, then another lymphocyte. I become a sort of antigen presenting cell. That is why macrophages are called antigen presenting cells. The short name of macrophages, they are one of the APCs, antigen presenting cells. Macrophages are also called, not only they are phagocytic, they are also antigen processing and presenting cells. And they have their other friends also. With the macrophage, there are some dendritic cells which also do antigen presentation. B lymphocytes can also do antigen presentation. Langerhans cells can also do antigen presentation. For a while you just concentrate the macrophage are antigen presenting cells. Right? They process the antigen with class 2 and now they go to lymphocyte to lymphocyte and try to fit the antigen into lymphocytes, TCR molecules. Okay, I reach up to this very good lymphocyte and I try, okay, come up at least. Nah, this is another lymphocyte, macrophage has reached there. Yeah, 